Hi, in this video we're going to go ahead and set up the database. This is used to collect uh, the user's info. So what you do is you log into your cPanel and scroll down until you get to databases and click on database wizard. And what you need to do is you need to just enter a name for your database. So I'm just going to be make it simple and call it apps. Hit click on next step. Now what you need to do is um, create a username. I'm just going to write apps user and create a password. Okay, my password is very weak. I suggest you try to make a better one. Even maybe use the password generator for a secure password. So after you, you fill in this information, you click on create user. So once you hit create user, you'll land on this page here. What, the first thing I would do is go ahead and copy this information here, uh, so you have it, you have it with you. I'll just put it in Notepad. Okay, now click on all privi all privileges and hit next step. And now you're done. Now you've created your um, the name of your database. Now return home. Scroll down again. Now once you hit databases, click on PHP my admin. Now on the left side you'll see the database you just created. So click on it. And what you need to do is now you need to create a table for the database. So click on SQL. Okay. Now once you're there, what you need to do is go to the files that you've downloaded for this software and click on the database folder and here are the two uh, databases so open uh, wall settings first open a text file select all copy and paste it right into here and then there's this go button and click on that and now your first table has been created. So now what you do is you hit the clear button, go back to your database folder, open the Facebook data text file, select all, copy, paste, click on go again, and now your both tables have been created and you've successfully created your database and that's all you need to do for this section here so now you could go ahead and X this um, this window and that is it for this video you've successfully created your database I'll see you in the next video